boy, 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 boy. I disagree, 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 disagree. To that, to that decision. With that penalty, with Saka. I disagree totally to that. Totally. That was a clear tactical tricks. That was tricks by Saka onto Aspiliqueta. He held Aspiliqueta's hand and dragged him to the floor. That was a clear tricks. Look at his face. Look at Saka's face. He know. He know. He know. Tricks. That was tricks. And I, I can't understand how VAR did not rule Saka. Did not rule the penalty against Saka after review. Boy, anyway, yeah. it is what it is. I want the universe to see that I was correct once more that if you if you ram sack the live chat of Eunice Stocks football I said after the substitution of Romelu Lukaku that Chelsea is going to lose you cannot tell me that you have a man like Malangsa on the wing on the on the left playing um left left center back right and that man was clearly making mistakes today i'm not really a guy who likes to criticize players day in day out you know i like to give a man a chance to prove himself so after looking at at least the first half an hour of that game i realized malang Sang seems to be having a bad game today you know maybe he has performed impeccably before but today he was not as impe impeccable with his skills and clear mistakes simple mistakes petty mistakes and i was not in favor of of the substitution of lukaku why because when Havertz came, it's not like there was a big difference. It's not like there was shots on goal. It's not like the team changed play and mount in space and, and they were playing in unison. And, you know, that ball was getting towards, towards Havertz enough that he was making attempts on goal. It was the same pack the boss scenario. Ateta was the maestro today. You understand? Ateta was in my show. And when you look at Havertz, I mean, hats off to Havertz. He has been our star striker in, within the last few weeks, even months. But today, we had a clear defensive issue. There was, right, there was Christensen, there was Sa, there was... Um, James and there was Aspiliqueta at the back. Subsa or sub um, 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 sub Aspiliqueta, you know, or sub Christensen. You didn't even have to sub Aspiliqueta. Sub Christensen because Aspiliqueta played to me. Aspiliqueta had a great game today. Christensen made a few mistakes in the early in the early minutes of the game. So I would either sub Christensen or Sa. No, no. Bringing in Jorginho. Jorginho could probably play in more in um um more in Loftus Cheeks position. You know. Yeah, or even even Kante, but I find Kante had a good game today. Kante and Loftus Cheek, you know, I find Loftus Cheek had a, a not bad game. So if anything, sub Sa Sa to me was the weakest link. But who would we bring in for Sa? I think if Hall was there, Lewis Hall, Lewis Hall would be an adequate replacement for Sa because the games. Lewis Hall has played in the times that they have allowed him 
in the times that they have allowed him um, to play, Lewis Hall would have been impeccable in that left wing back position. No, I'm not a wing back, left centre back position. Lewis Hall would be impeccable there. So Lewis Hall could have been one to choose for that position if he if he was there. But I'm not even sure if the substitution if we had Lewis Hall on the bench. You know? So that is my take on that. And as soon as I saw they brought in um Havertz for Lukaku and you have a defensive issue, I realized this guy is not really in the play, we're going to lose. And so said, so done. I said it to you in the live chat. Siphon this live chat and look for the messages that I sent. Brad out. I said that simple we would lose and we lost four two. Up to now, where the, where the two goals have it's had to come in to score? Up to now. Anyway, it is what it is. You know? It is what it is. The team has lost and that's it. Yeah. Brad out. Yeah. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just... Thinking of... What happened today and... I just can't believe the fact that we lost two towards Arsenal's four. Arsenal looked like a championship team today. I mean, no disrespect to Arsenal and their crew and Arteta. You know, they they deserve the win. They played for it. But um, Chelsea's performance today was just not prolific. Yeah, the team was very out of sync. It's almost like the guys were actually giving Arsenal a free game or a free pass. It kind of felt like that. It's almost like the guys had no heart towards the victory today or no, no ambition towards winning the game. Yeah, and um, I think I just wasn't impressed. Malang Sa did not hold hold up his his position at um, left centre back and um, and um, um, Alonso was not too bad, but not. It's almost bland. His performance was just. A performance nothing really to talk about he missed this great opportunity with that volley and you know um christiansen himself at center back was not as you know as defensive as he we we normally expect him to be christiansen that mistake that he made that caused the goal um with um in kit here in kit here and in kit here <laughs> i as a matter of fact i i i mean hey everyone has their day everyone has their time but for in kit here to shine against chelsea boys like that was really charity fc today <laughs> according <laughs> to the other teams you know and that substitution also that substitution just was not uh, the right decision at the time. I mean, whoever was it, Tuchel was it, Tuchel was the one orchestrating that substitution. Um, nah, that I, I I don't I I I I could not understand why we subbed Lukaku who. I don't think Lukaku was as bad as, you know, it, it may seem. I think the opportunity just did not arrive for him to shine, you know. And leaving him at the helm of the, of the striking, striking um, attack would have probably winded up in a goal. But I guess Tuchel feels that, you know... Um, um, Havertz is on form and he's on fire and probably the, the, the possibility or the probability of him scoring would have been higher but 
at the time, if you're thinking from a, a common sense and strategic standpoint, the defense was the issue. And why would you stop? I, I've never been too confident in Malangsa's performance. Looking at his games over the, the, the season, he has not impressed me as such. I mean, I've been real here. I mean, he he has not been consistent. I mean, he's maybe had one or two good games, but, you know, just trying to re recollect or, or refresh my mind. I don't remember any astounding performance from Sa. So, I don't... I would not have started Sa today. Why didn't Tuchel just start Thiago Silva and Christensen from the start? You know, it's not like none of these guys were injured or... You know, I mean, I remember the days of Eden Hazard playing for Chelsea and Hazard played almost all games. You know, now he's having a wretched season at Real Madrid, but I remember Hazard playing all games. Hazard and, um, what's his name? Ramirez played a lot of games. Um, Oscar played a lot of games. William played a lot of games. You know, Diego Costa. So, I mean... You know, I mean, football is football. It, it, it is what it is. Every player knows that when you come to a championship club, a winning club like Chelsea, you know the, the, the games are going to be demanding. So, you know, leaving out Thiago Silva for a, a, a reason of saying that he might be tired and he's the star player in the defence. I mean, that to me is a poor decision. You know, if we have a backup, for Thiago Silva. Like right now, I think the team needs backup defense, a good center back, a good left back like Rudiger. We need we need a, 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 a great bench, should I say. We need some good players, you know, prolific players. And if if um, the takeover is what the intended to be or it's supposed to be i think that um a lot of money and investment needs to be pumped into that new era of chelsea and we get the formidable the the explosive players that the team right now has amassed itself to be a prolific team so you know we we need Top of the top players or dedicated players because I mean players can be top of the top and like Lukaku not scoring goals I mean you know I, I still don't want to say that Lukaku is that bad I think it's just the opportunity and the team probably not giving him the support that he deserves because today I could see that you know he was a bit disappointed that Tuchel um, um, subbed him and I don't think that Tuchel should have subbed him and bring in Havertz. Havertz needs to understand that, you know, he got his goals for the season and give Lukaku a, a little push, give Lukaku a little brace. Let, let Lukaku feel that he's also part of the team too, you know? Because it's a team effort. It's not a one-man effort in Chelsea. If you look, the way the team plays over the season, sometimes Aspilicueta up front, sometimes... Kante rotating up front, leaving his position at um, in the midfield. And Kante is all the way in the top. Today, as a matter of fact, Aspilicueta was playing the role as striker of, of, um, on, and, and running the wing. So, you know, I, I, I think that with the shuffling and the, 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 the shuffling of the... Um, positions and the players and the teams and that kind of thing i think that um you know we need to give lukaku a genuine burst of a chance man you know i mean okay let's just say he made up his mind and he decides to go okay fine but while he's there he should be entitled like every other player the opportunity to hit some shots hit some goals and the team is supposed to embrace him at the, at the front. You know, I, I noticed, um, what's his name? Played for him today, Timo Werner. Timo Werner gave him a good pass, but it just wasn't meant to be. And 
Tuchel should have left him to build the chemistry with, with Timo Werner. And I feel sobbing him prematurely like that. That was a bad move. When Malangsa needed the, the first substitution. So today I, I, can, I can burn a fire on, on Thomas Tuchel for that. Yeah, but anyway, it is what it is. We lost. Let's see what happens in the next couple of games. Yeah. I out oh, peace out. I I don't really want to um um I don't really want to speak too much on that. I just wanted to give my two cents on how I felt the game went today and yeah, let's look out for better results and yeah, a conquering Chelsea team for the next couple of games. We have about we should have about seven games. Seven or eight games remaining, seven games I think. I'll check. But anyhow, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm out. It's, 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 I'm out, yeah.